So a really interesting topic going into this year's draft is the uh, status of Caleb Williams, the projected number one overall quarterback, the projected number one overall prospect going into the 2024 NFL draft. And it looks as if a lot of the uh, NFL experts, a lot of the um, people in the fan bases and all that are very split on him right now. And I did want to go over the topic. Is Caleb Williams a generational talent? Now, before I even get into it, going into what a generational talent is, generational talent, in my mind, at the quarterback position, at the very least, has only come around, I would say, three other times going into the draft. And these three other quarterbacks would be that of John Elway, Andrew Luck, and probably Trevor Lawrence. Uh, You know, obviously, some people are still kind of split on him. I think he's done pretty well for the situation already as a playoff win and I think coming out of college it was pretty clear he was a generational guy that you know he was probably somebody that was going to work and people forget he had to kind of overcome that first Urban Meyer year it was really shaky but those are the three guys that I would put in the generational category of people that you know they were going to work pretty much no matter what happened pretty much no matter where they went it was they were going to succeed it didn't really matter and they were just generational talents now, if we get into the point is, is is if Caleb Williams is a generational guy, you really got to look at the intangibles of what this guy is doing first. Does he have a flaw? And, you know, I'll never forget um, Joe Klatt, who is a color analyst for college football and has his own talk show, went on his uh, show, which I believe is on YouTube or whatever. He goes on Colin Cowherd's show to The Herd. And he made the statement that really stuck with me. And he's been saying it. He's quoted saying it several times. He keeps saying, I don't see a flaw in Caleb Williams' game. He said that time after time. And to that, I would say he probably is wrong. And this is, I think, what the biggest issue with Caleb Williams is. And I think it's a key one for the NFL. And his biggest issue is... He won't, he won't usually all the time take what the defense gives him. Sometimes he's trying to do a little too much. He's trying to extend the play when it doesn't need to be extended. He's trying to throw that million-dollar pass to the deep-down guy. And that's why sometimes he's on his legs too much, and sometimes he's running around. It looks cool when he pulls it off, but when he doesn't, it's either going to result in an interception or a loss. Or maybe, like I said, yeah, he gets lucky, he scores a touchdown. But there's several clips of tape where he misses the open guy. He doesn't you know, full-on connect with the open guy. And in the NFL, that's key. Brady became one of the greatest quarterbacks of all time because of his awareness of hitting the open guy, hitting the perceived route. Sometimes it's all right to check it down. Sometimes it's all right to take that slant, that shallow, um, that out, that in, that five-yard in, that 10-yard in, um, the dig. Sometimes that's the move you have to take. You don't always don't have to go for the home run shot, the play that's going to beat the defense. So I would say that's the biggest flaw of Caleb Williams. Other than that, he is flawless. I mean, you know, he's he can extend plays better than any quarterback that we've seen. He's got a good arm. Uh, obviously, like I said, the footwork talent is there. You can see it. I mean, he, without a doubt, is the best quarterback of all these prospects. I don't think it's very close. I mean, you could say that Jaden Daniels has the potential. And you could say that maybe Drake May has the potential, although I'm not that high on Drake May. I think... Uh, Penix, you know, as inconsistent as he can be, he might be the most accurate passer out of all of them. He does have his inconsistencies, but he is very accurate. So, I mean, you're really looking at the breakdown here. He's definitely the first quarterback that should be taken off the board. That's not my debate there. What I am sitting here saying right now is he's not a generational talent. He's not in the same boat as those guys because he's going to need the right systems to succeed. And that's why I think him going to Chicago is probably a mistake. He could maybe make it in Washington because it looks like they're turning a new leaf with new ownership, new management. But And I, I don't think he would succeed in New England as well. He would have to go to the right system. You forget, he does. He's, he is the closest thing to Patrick Mahomes that we've seen since Patrick Mahomes has come into the league. We also forget Patrick Mahomes got blessed with the perfect system. He sat a year, his rookie year. He has, and I'm not denying Patrick Mahomes' greatness. He's great. He's probably the second best quarterback of all time right now. But you can't deny he was bred into a really good system. He had a really good offensive coach. Um, he had weapons when he was early, so he was able to learn. There was a lot of factors that came into that. Now, I think he would have been good regardless, but I don't think that Caleb Williams is that generational talent that's good enough to overcome adversity. 
And with guys like that, you got to get in the right spot. You know, I like I said, I still think without a doubt he's the best quarterback in this class. But to say he's generational is just to, to say he's a generational can't miss prospect. I don't see it. I mean, if you're if you're Chicago and you want to trade this pick, that'd be perfectly fine. They they never had a good history of quarterbacks. Their best quarterback of all time is probably either Jim McMahon or um or Jay Cutler. Maybe Rex Grossman got him to a Super Bowl, but they have not had a good track record of quarterbacks since the modern era. That's just the way it's been. And it, you know, the organization's not the best right now. So I'm if, if I'm them, you know, it's not a can't miss. It's not a can't miss. If you want to go ahead and you want to trade down to two or three, get Marvin Harrison Jr., get a boatload of picks. Obviously, you could get burned, but you have, it's all about the system you land unless you're one of these generational guys where it probably doesn't matter where you're going to land. So with Caleb Williams, like I said, I think he's a really good prospect. I think he's one of the best prospects in this draft. But at the same time, to say he's generational, I think is a bit of a stretch.